Item number two. I am going to give you a cheat code, something that you have been told for years you're not allowed to do, but guess what? It's a new era and you're allowed to do it. Thing number two for translation. People would have told you, even a handful of years ago, that you should not do thing number two if you want good translation, and that is mix on headphones. Because here's the reality. You want to get into a basic, like, good studio monitoring situation where you're having professional level monitoring. You're starting at $1,000 to $2,000 on speakers, $1,000 to $2,000 on acoustic treatment, a few hundred dollars on some additional EQ correction. You're spending somewhere between you know, $2,000 and 4000 bucks on solving your monitoring situation to a professional degree. For $2,000 to $4,000, you could get the best headphones ever made in the history of headphones that you might actually be able to trust even better than that speaker monitoring situation we're talking about. If you had $1,500 to spend, you could start to get a pretty good system that you could actually get pretty good results on, or you could get some amazing headphones for $1,500. And additionally, you could spend $300 on a pair of headphones and get headphones that you can trust and make critical listening decisions on. You are allowed to mix on headphones, but there's two big rules when it comes to mixing on headphones. One is that not every set of headphones will do the trick. And rule number two around headphones is that even if they are headphones that'll do the trick, just like with any monitoring situation, you've got to learn them. And you've also got to select headphones that will suit your biases. So let's break this down a little bit further. Number one thing about having headphones that are useful as a really good secondary reference or even a primary reference is low frequency response of those headphones. If you're going to be mixing predominantly on headphones, you need to have headphones that give you some honest information at 100 hertz and below. And a lot of headphones are not going to do that for you. There's only a handful of pairs of headphones that I can recommend that do this. The least expensive ones that I have liked for this have been the Blues. These are the Blue Mix-Fi headphones. I listen to every single master I do on these headphones. They have a built-in amp that I leave off, so they're basically the same as the Blue Lola headphones. There's two problems with the solution that I'm giving you. One is that the ear pads, like, they disintegrate. <laughs> Any blue headphone owners here, you know you, you know that if you wear these headphones, they'll be spilkus all over you. And the other two, second big problem about these headphones is that they're probably being discontinued for exactly that reason. It's my understanding that they're not going to be making these headphones anymore. At least that's the word on the street. And it's a shame because for around $300 or even less, closer to $250 or even Lola, lower on the Lola headphones, they had actual low-frequency information that I could trust and that I really understood and got to know. And I could make actual decisions about things happening in the 60 hertz range on these headphones. They have this semi-open, semi-closed design that just gives them actual usable information in even the sub-frequency area. Phenomenal, you're not going to find that on a lot of headphones, especially at this price, with these guys getting discontinued, possibly in part because of the spilkus that's coming off of them right here, for those of you who can see on the video version. Uh, hopefully, either they come out with a revised version of these or some other brand does. Uh, I'm not even getting sponsorship money for mentioning this. They're just the things that I use, and I've listened to literally every single master that I've done since I started mastering uh, outside of the Joe Lambert Mastering Studio and built my own room. I've listened to every single master I've done on these headphones. And when I'm traveling, I can master an entire record on these headphones and get the same results that I get at home in my actual real studio on my good speakers because I know them that well. And the reality is that more and more people at a super high level are starting to understand that yes, you can mix on headphones. We recently did an interview with a great mixer, Manny Marikeen, on the Sonic Scoop YouTube channel, 
Uh, no, I'm sorry, on the Sonic Scoop website. That was an, a written interview, sonicscoop.com. Look up Manny Marikeen mixing on headphones. He's now started mixing on headphones, brand called Audazy, I believe is how you pronounce it. They make phenomenal stuff, really, really expensive headphones, but their highest end LCD4 headphones for like $4,000 are uh, ridiculously good. They're some of the best headphones I've ever heard. If you're going to spend a little bit less than that, though, I think there are other brands that uh, at certain price points beat them. But they make, and that's just my personal opinion and my taste there. Your taste might be different. But Manny Marikeen doing some of the best work out there. He's worked with I don't know, Bruno Mars, Imagine Dragons, Rihanna, like everything. Pop, R&B, hip hop, like multi, multi platinum selling stuff. He's in a place where he's like, I don't always have to be in my studio in front of the SSL, in front of the big monitors. These headphones are telling me things that I need to know. One of my friends, Ariel Bourgeau, he's worked with the Chainsmokers and Madonna and Biggie and so many others. Great engineer, great guy. He swore me to secrecy years ago when he first started mixing on headphones. I wouldn't tell anyone he was mixing on headphones. I don't think I'm sworn to secrecy anymore because the reason I was sworn to secrecy is because at that point he was living in Brooklyn. He couldn't get to the studio all the time. Not every project could he justify going down to the studio for. So he would do a lot of his mixing on headphones at his dining room table watching his kid in the mornings. And now he has his own studio. He's moved out uh, elsewhere in New York and he has his own studio in his house that he can go to all the time so he doesn't have to mix on headphones all the time. But he got really good results when he was mixing on headphones. And you can do this. You are allowed. And sometimes some money spent on better headphones and getting to know them is absolutely worthwhile. I'll give you yet another person who'd endorse this. Glenn Schick one of the great mastering engineers out there. He mastered this J. Cole record, a rap record that so many people gave accolades to for its sound quality and how it sounded and that it wasn't trying to like push things just for the loudness worn. It was a cool sounding record. He's done, you know, Justin Bieber too. All huge stuff all over the map. You know, he is now mastering exclusively on headphones on a laptop. I've interviewed him twice about it. He uses plugins, and headphones, granted they're a $4,000 pair of headphones, to master super high-level records, and that's all he does. And it's not hurting him to do it. So, you have license to go out there and try mastering on, or mixing on headphones. But I've told you, one, you've got to have headphones that give you useful information in low frequencies. I throw out these blues as one option. The new Neumann Headphones, the closed back ones, actually have really good low frequency response, in my opinion, for closed back headphones. Sometimes the high frequencies can suffer a little bit more on closed back headphones. Uh, Neumann just come out with an open back pair. I'm really excited to check out. There's one coming in the mail right now. I hope to do a roundup of some of the best options for headphones for mixing and mastering. I did such a roundup a couple of years ago. You can find that on the sonicscoop.com website, but I'm going to update it with some of these new models that have since come out, and maybe I'll do a video overview of some of these headphones too. Let me know if that would be interesting to you uh, down here in the comments because that's, uh, that would be fun for me to do. I love nerding out about headphones. So there's some good options there, but the second thing, that you, that makes it so that not all headphones will work for you, is that high frequencies are like a roller coaster on headphones. The upper mids and the highs, they're all over the place most of the time in most headphones. Some of the flatter headphones in the higher frequencies, among them would be the Sennheiser HD 600s, HD 650s, really good high frequency and upper mid range response, but in my opinion, a little bit low in the low frequencies. They don't have as much useful information, 100 hertz and below. So for me, they could only ever be a secondary reference. Like I would not feel comfortable going on the road with those, making final decisions about low frequencies using those particular headphones, my opinion. There are other brands out there that a lot of people like that can be fun to listen to that I've heard people get good results with, but you again have to get to know the roller coaster of high frequencies. Bayer Dynamic, are a good example of this. They have some headphones that a lot of people like and that are useful, but you've got to get to know, like, okay, this particular model of headphones, it's giving me a lot of extra stuff at 12K, but not at 8K. And then there is a hump at, you know, 4K, but not at 6K. Whatever particular model you're on, you've really got to learn the idiosyncrasies of their response. But you can learn almost any set of headphones and almost any room, given enough practice. 
which is something we'll talk about more and more as we go along. Hey, if you like that clip, you might love the full-length video that it came from, or you might want to check out one of my full-length courses like Mixing Breakthroughs, Compression Breakthroughs, or Mastering Demystified. They will change the way you work forever for the better, guaranteed, or your money back. Hope to see you on the other side.